Hello hockey fans and welcome back to another video. Less than 24 hours ago, on Saturday, September 17th, the Swedish Hockey League dropped the puck for its 22-23 season. While the SHL is regarded as a top domestic league in Europe, and while it has earned this reputation through its plethora of promising prospects, there are plenty of NHL alumni that are applying their trade in Sweden during the current season of play. So let's take a look at the most experienced members of this group and highlight the most notable names amongst them, shall we? So in today's video, allow me to take you through my list of the top 10 former NHLers who are playing in the Swedish Hockey League this season. Kicking things off at number 10, we have Jonas Enroth. The only goaltender on this list, Jonas Enroth is looking to produce another strong season during his latest year back home. A second round pick in the 2006 NHL draft by the Buffalo Sabres, Enroth spent parts of eight seasons in the show, where he registered a 50, 69 and 16 record, a 2.84 career goals against average, and a .909 career save percentage in 153 games for his efforts. After leaving the NHL behind in 2017, and after spending the next three seasons playing for a variety of teams across Europe, Enroth returned to Sweden for good in 2020, as he signed a three-year contract with SHL side Orboro HK on May 4th, 2020. Since then, Enroth has spent the last two seasons playing exclusively for Orboro and has quickly proven himself to be one of the top netminders in the league, as he has posted a 44-29-0 record in 74 regular season games and a save percentage of .909 or higher every year. Oh, and he was also named the SHL's Goaltender of the Year during the recent 21-22 season thanks to him posting the best save percentage and the most shutouts across the entire league. So he had a pretty good year for himself, you know. As Enroth enters his third season with Orboro and the final year of his contract with the team, the 34-year-old will be looking to continue his league-leading play, help Orboro become a legitimate contender in the league, and finally get his hands on an SHL championship. Will he do so? I guess we'll have to wait and see. Next up at number 9, we have Anton Landa. One of the many Swedish players in this video, Anton Lander is finally returning home after a lengthy tour across Europe. A second round pick by the Edmonton Oilers in 2009, Lander suited up in 215 NHL games over parts of six seasons, where he scored 10 goals and 35 points during that span. Having last played in North America in 2017, and having spent the last half a decade in either the KHL or the Swiss National League, the Swedish forward has elected to head home during the current year of play, as he signed a three-year contract with Timra IK on April 4th, 2022. From there, Lander has joined Timra's roster for the 22-23 season. Though this might be his first season in Sweden in over a decade, Lander is no stranger to Timra IK, as he developed within their organization as a teenager, and he spent seven years with the team before moving to North America back in 2011. In fact, Lander's homecoming is so highly anticipated that the 31-year-old has been named captain of Timra's roster for the upcoming year of play, and given that he shall be sticking around for the foreseeable future, I imagine that he'll be wearing the C for many years to come. And who said you can't go home? Moving on to number 8, we have Tom Kunakul. The only entry on this list to have lifted the Stanley Cup, Tom Kunakul is looking to add another trophy to his cabinet during his sophomore season in the SHL. A fourth round pick in the 2010 draft by the Pittsburgh Penguins, Kunakul spent parts of five seasons in the NHL, where he potted 18 goals and 54 points in 232 games for his efforts. Not only that, the German forward also got his hands on the greatest trophy in the sport on several occasions, as he lifted both the 2016 and the 2017 Stanley Cups as a member of the Penguins. Two cups in five years? Now that's efficiency, folks. After leaving the show behind in 2020, and after spending the following year down in the minors, Kunakul signed a two-year contract with the SHL Sheleftia AIK on August 12th, 2021. And though he didn't produce the strongest performance during his debut year in the league, he did help Sheleftia finish third place in the regular season standings and reach the quarterfinal round during the playoffs too. So he certainly could have done a lot worse, right? This season, Kunakul is back with Sheleftia for the final year of his contract with the team. 
Since he has played an entire season in Sweden now and he knows what he needs to do, the 30 year old is hoping to take his game to the next level and hit the ground running during his sophomore year in the Swedish league. Even if he doesn't though, the guy has a pair of Stanley Cup rings on his fingers, so I don't think he'll be too upset if things don't quite go to plan for him, will he? At the seventh spot on this list, we have Christian Folin. The only defenseman in this video, Christian Folin is ready to produce another strong season during his latest year in his homeland. An undrafted player during each of his years of eligibility, Folin went on to play 244 NHL games over parts of seven seasons, where he scored eight goals and 44 points during that span. Having left the NHL in 2020, the Swedish defenseman would spend the following year with the Veksha Lakers and win an SHL championship with the team before taking his talents elsewhere in the league, as he signed a four-year contract with fellow SHL side Frölunda HC on May 27th, 2021. Since then, Folin spent the recent 21-22 season with Frölunda, and though he produced modest scoring numbers and racked up a ton of penalty minutes during his debut year with the team, the alternate captain wasted little time becoming an integral member of the team's blue line. As Folin enters his second year with Frölunda, the 31-year-old will be looking to provide a similar impact defensively, register an improved performance offensively, and continue to lead by example during his sophomore season with the team. So here's hoping that he can produce a strong tenure with the side, and and help bring home a championship over the coming seasons. After all, the guy is signed until 2025. Both the player himself and the organization are expecting some pretty great things over the next few years. Next, at number six, we have Lance Boma. The only Canadian player on this list, Lance Boma is looking to take his game to even greater heights during his latest year in the SHL. A third round pick by the Calgary Flames in 2008, Boma spent parts of seven seasons in the show, where he notched 30 goals and 76 points in 357 games for his efforts. After leaving the NHL in 2018, and after spending the next three seasons playing for various different teams across the hockey world, the Canadian forward would join the SHL's Malmo Redhawks for the 22-23 season, where he would register his most productive performance in the SHL during his sophomore year in Sweden. From there, Boma has returned to Malmo's roster for his second year with the team. Though he is entering the final year of his contract with the Redhawks, and though he scored at a slower pace than the season prior, the 32-year-old is ready to kick his game up a notch and help Malmo remain in the hunt for an SHL championship. Getting their hands on the trophy sounds like a pretty happy ending if you ask me, folks. Halfway through this list now, at number five, we have Tobias Rieder. The second German player in this video, Tobias Rieder is eager to pick up right where he left off during his sophomore year in Sweden. A fourth round pick by the Edmonton Oilers in 2011, Reader played 478 NHL games over parts of seven seasons, where he scored 64 goals and 145 points in the process. Having spent the 2021 season with the Buffalo Sabres, and having produced a minimal impact for the team, the German forward made the move across the pond and took his talents to Sweden, as he joined the SHL's Veksha Lakers for the recent 21-22 season. From there, Reader spent the entire year with the team, produced strong scoring numbers for his new side, and even represented his homeland at the 2022 Winter Olympic Games. So he certainly could have done a lot worse for himself, right guys? Since then, Reader has returned to Vexha's roster for the current year of play. Though he originally planned to spend a lone season with the team, the 29-year-old signed an extension with Vexha earlier this year that runs until the end of next season, so it looks like he'll be remaining with the Lakers for the foreseeable future. Talk about making a strong first impression, eh, folks? Moving on to number four, we have Johan Larsson. The most recent entry on this list to have suited up in the NHL, Johan Larsson is ready to put his experience to good use during his opening year back home. A second round pick in 2010 by the Minnesota Wild, Larson spent parts of 10 seasons in the NHL, where he scored 53 goals and 132 points in 488 games during that span. After spending the recent 21-22 season in the show, and after splitting the year between two different teams, the Swedish forward elected to return overseas, as he signed a three-year contract with SHL side Brynäs IF on August 12, 2022. 
though he is returning to Sweden for the first time since 2012, and though he hasn't played in his homeland for over 10 seasons now, Larsson is no stranger to his new side, as he spent much of his development as a member of the Brynäs organisation, and he began his pro career with the team shortly after his selection at the draft. Since he has such a lengthy history with the franchise, and since he has spent the better part of a decade in the best league in the world, I would be genuinely surprised if Larson didn't wear a letter on his jersey as a captain of the team, and he didn't put his wealth of experience to pretty good use during his debut year back home. Even if he doesn't though, Larson is contracted to the team until 2025, so I doubt that he will take his talents elsewhere anytime soon. Don't you just love a good old fashioned reunion? At the third spot on this list, we have Leo Komarov. One of the oldest entries in this video, Leo Komarov is looking to make a strong first impression during his debut year in Sweden. A sixth round pick by the Toronto Maple Leafs in 2006, Komarov suited up in 491 NHL games over parts of nine seasons, where he potted 63 goals and 170 points for his efforts. Having played a single contest in the show during the recent 21-22 season, and having spent the rest of the year in Russia, the Finnish forward has moved to Sweden for the current season of play, as he signed a one-year contract with Lulia HF on September 4th, 2022. From there, Komarov has joined Lulia's roster for the 22-23 season. Though he has already debuted for the team during their Champions Hockey League fixtures, and though he is clearly entering the latter stages of his career now, the 35-year-old's lengthy tenure in North America, his successful stints in the KHL, and his various medals on the international stage are more than enough to help him produce a strong opening outing in the Swedish League. He may not be the most productive player, but Komarov knows his role and plays it very well. Penultimately, at number two, we have Carl Soderberg. One of the most productive players in this video on both sides of the pond, Carl Soderberg is eager to continue his high scoring play during his sophomore season back home. A second round pick by the St. Louis Blues in 2004, Soderberg played parts of nine seasons in the show, where he scored 110 goals and 297 points in 597 NHL games in the process. After leaving North America in 2021, the Swedish forward joined the SHL's Malmo Redhawks for the recent 21-22 season, and though he hadn't played in his homeland in almost a decade, Soderberg would hit the ground running, as he was named captain of the Redhawks roster, and he was one of the most productive players across the entire Swedish league too. Now that's how you make your triumphant return home, folks. This season, Soderberg has returned to Malmo's roster for the current year of play. Though he shall turn 37 years old over the next few weeks, and though retirement is clearly on the horizon for him now, Soderberg is expected to pick up right where he left off, wear the C on his jersey once more, and continue to lead by example, both on the scoreboard and in the locker room too. There's certainly worse ways to spend the twilight years of your career, that's for sure. And finally, at number one, we have Mikhail Bodka. The most experienced NHL player in this video by a pretty notable margin, Mikhail Bodka takes the top spot on this list thanks to his lengthy pro career on both sides of the pond. The eighth overall pick of the 2008 draft by the Phoenix Coyotes, Bodka suited up in 709 NHL games over parts of 12 seasons, where he scored 118 goals and 327 points during that span. Having left the league behind in 2020, and having spent the last two years in Switzerland, the Danish forward decided to take his talents elsewhere, as he signed a one-year contract with SHL side HV71 on June 29th, 2022. Since then, Bodka has joined the SHL for the 22-23 season. Though he last played in Sweden 15 years ago now, and though his point production took a notable step backwards during the recent season of play, the 32-year-old has found his fair share of success in some of the best hockey leagues in the world, so I don't see why he shouldn't produce a strong debut in the Swedish league too. I mean, you don't spend over a decade of your career in the National Hockey League and produce plenty of success in Europe if you're a bad hockey player now, do you?
And on that note, I'm going to end today's video. Those were the top 10 former NHLers who are playing in the Swedish Hockey League this season. What do you guys think about my list? Are you surprised to see some of the names that were mentioned, or did I leave someone completely obvious out? Let me know in the comments below, I would love to hear what you guys think. But thank you very much for watching guys, I hope you have enjoyed. Please feel free to like, subscribe, share, or watch some of my other videos. Thank you very much for watching, and goodbye! A big thank you to Bexy93, Burned Retinas, Clayton Hallam, Drew Fawcett, Houston NG, Raquel, and Worthless Pieces for helping support this video via Patreon. If you too want to help support the channel, Channel a little bit further and get a shout out at the end of every future video, make sure you head over to patreon.com slash oddmanrush and become a patron today.